And Nadine, you can imagine at this moment, many students are at home sitting with their friends and their family, trying to digest emotionally the events of today, uh, not just physically. And now we know that there is also a vigil that is being held tonight. I'd like to bring in Ariana Lake to talk a little bit more about what's happening at that vigil and why it's so important that the church and the school are connected this way, Ariana. This is such a tragic day for so many people, really impacting this tight-knit community. I'm here at Valley Real Life Church where the vigil will be held in just a few minutes and people are starting to arrive, people of all ages, young and old, here to get support. I'm told that this tragedy directly impacts this church because some of the kids that go here and worship here, they attend Freeman High School. Now, we did speak with a mother of a student earlier today and her daughter is okay tonight, but she said she's just gonna keep praying for for those impacted. I was overwhelmed with relief and I was trying not to, I'm still trying not to cry because I wanted to be calm for everyone else so that I wouldn't make it worse than it is. But obviously this is a horrible situation and for me to see my daughter was, I, I can't even put into words. Time to get down here again. This vigil starts at 6:30. I do want to remind people the organizer of the vigil said this is for everyone. You don't have to attend this church to come to this vigil. It's for anyone who needs support tonight, and you can find that here at this vigil again. That starts at 6:30. Ariana Lake, KXLY 4 News. Ariana, thank you so.